Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel The N Art. Today I will be making this amethyst crystal and you have seen me making the mold out of this amethyst crystal that I have and the mold was really successful to make. So now let's make the crystal out of resin. I am really really excited for this. Let's see. So for this re uh, making crystal making I am using a very very low viscosity resin and it's really thin like a water. So I will be using this violet epoxy pigment. Just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit because I don't want to make it too dark. So a very little goes a long way. Still I got so much color on my sticks, I will not be using all of it. So I am mixing it very slowly into the resin. And as you can see I didn't mix it really entirely. So start adding it into the mold, pouring it into the mold. Now I am revolving the mold around so that it reaches all the corners. So one thing that I mistake and or you can say I forgot to do is I forgot to spray the isopropyl alcohol that I do every time. So better luck next time. So I am really slowly adding this resin into the mold and I will be pouring it in a one go. Although this mold is quite big but I will be not filling it up to the top. I will be going a little bit uh, you can say more than half. One of the biggest reason that I love well, I wanted to create this mold is that I can make different depths of crystal if I want a very little one or a bigger one any st design uh, any length I can go with this mold. So this was really a DIY mold and I will link the video top on the top you can you will uh, can see how I made this mold if any of you have have missed it. So after blowing some heat gun this is my holographic sheet and I will be adding on the top here so I was a bit curious that it might get into the resin because as my resin is really thin but to my surprise it did hold well and I was very happy about it after adding it we will wait for everything to cure now get ready for a very soothing ASMR This was around after two days because the resin was very thin it will take some time to cure so I give it a whole two days to cure let it do its thing and it was kept aside although I wanted to demold it but I had the patience I got it and I didn't and so I waited so this is how it turned out well, I can see there are a lot of air bubbles, but still the sparkle and I am fallen in love. And the magic is hidden here. Still, the crystal was really beautiful if I haven't add the holographic, but it do add charm. I am taking it to a next level, although I have a very amazing idea for this crystal that I will be going to do it with it. It's going to take some time, but I think you all will love it. But for now, what I wanted to do with this crystal is that and if you are any of you are planning to sell it like this, you can add a extra bit of elegance to it by add, now here what I'm doing here is I am adding a gilting glue. On 
onto the base of the crystal and we will let it dry so it gets sticky up till now you all guys know that i am a true gold foil lover So I am applying a thick layer, make sure you apply a thick layer. And use a soft brush so th that you don't get any streaks when you apply the gold. And now this is the gold foil and after it's been dried clear, I will be adding this gold foil, gently rubbing onto the places where I applied the gilding glue. And this is the final step for this crystal. This is how it turned out. I really love how the crystal turned out and how it looks similar to the real crystals. And I hope the people who were asking me how they make this mold, for this mold you need to have a very beautiful amethyst specimen and you can make only way you can make this mold. So these are the final results. And please let me know in comments what do you think, how it turned out. And if you like this, please do give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe and share. Take care. Bye-bye.